Hello everybody, Zyvox here, and today we're going to talk about corn. Let's get started. First thing we need to talk about is the tractor. So the tractor that I'm going to pick today, it's in the medium category, and it's all the way to the right. We're talking about this 6R series, the John Deere. And the reason why I picked this tractor is because it has enough horsepower as long as you upgrade it and it has the front loader attachment. And the reason why I am picking this tractor is because I know corn has several different uses in the game. The first use is you can obviously sell it. The second use is you can use it with your pigs to feed them. And then the third and final use is silage, which that's gonna be another video, but I'm gonna to assume today that you're trying to use this to either sell or feed the pigs. And for that, you may need a front loader on your tractor. So this is a tractor I picked today to handle the equipment. Okay, the second thing we're going to talk to you about today is the first steps in planting corn. So corn is very unique in the fact that every time you harvest, you need to plow the field again. So there is something under the subsoilers that will help. And I just want to show you this real quick. This is the way I'm going to use it because of the fact that this right here can plow the field, it can cultivate the field, and it can fertilize all in one go. That is the way I'm gonna do it for this tutorial, and I hope you use it this way. Say you don't wanna use this one, you can also use this one down the line. This one does the exact same thing for a bigger field, but the requirements are too high for the tractor I'm using. So we're gonna use this one today. I'm gonna to go ahead and lease this one. And we're going to need some fertilizer for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the fertilizer. Okay. And just like everything else in this game, you have to connect to it first. And then you refill. And this one's set. I'm going to meet you at the field. I'm going to show you how this works. We are at the field. We're already lined up. We're ready to go. Now, with this guy on the back, this five-in-one cultivator, you need to turn it on for it to work properly. If you do not turn it on and hire a worker, the sower won't turn on and it will not fertilize the field. So make sure you turn it on, go to the field, hire a worker, and you're set. You can let them run. Now, I know this is going to take a while. Another tip is that instead of waiting for just the one to handle it, you can go ahead and and hire another worker on the opposite end and that will speed up time. So I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna show you real quick before I leave the fact that it is plowing the field. The field is cultivated right here. See the field's cultivated. And you also have the first step in fertilizing field all done in one step. So I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna finish up the field. We're gonna go to the next step. I'm allowing this to keep going. I just wanna tell you guys that for anybody out there who does not like this way or just needs a little bit more information on fertilizing or cultivating or plowing, I'm going to leave links down below to videos I've done in the past that will help you out on this subject. Okay, so I'm gonna let this keep going. They're about halfway done and I will see you at the shop. We are at the shop and we're ready for the next step, which is planting. So if you go into planters, if you pay attention to the bottom, just to make sure you're in the right area, you can see the corn icon. All these do corn. But today, I want to talk about this one, the Tempo L16. And the reason why I want to talk about this one and the reason why I picked the tractor for this one is the fact that this one also fertilizes and plants at the same time. So for those of you out there who did not like the subsoilers and you just want to skip ahead maybe a step or two, you can use this one as well because this one will fertilize at the same time. So I am actually gonna show you this one as well. In case you don't have the horsepower or you don't wanna spend the money on this one, this one right here, the Mestro 12 SW does the exact same thing. It just does not have the reach. So today we're gonna lease this one and uh, just to show you that it can fertilize or it has storage for it, we're gonna buy a bag. And just like everything in this game, you have to be connected to it to operate it. 
got your fertilizer. You're going to need some seeds. You go back into big bags, get your seed. Now you hit your refill button, top left for tips. There's your refill button. And we're set. I'm gonna meet you at the field to show this how this works. We are now at the field and I'm already lined up. I already did a little bit. I had to do a little testing real quick. So first thing you do is unfold it just to make sure you're lined up correctly. So then after it's unfolded, you hire your worker. And there you go. Corn is now being planted on the field. And if you did not go the way with the subsoilers, this would be fertilizing the field as we're going. I just wanted to show you something real quick that um, if you're doing a subsoiler and you're using this planter, it does not give you the second step of fertilizing. You have to wait to the first growth cycle before you get the second step, which is this dark blue one of fertilizing okay off to the next step this is the first growth cycle of corn just in case you did not know after this growth cycle this is where you want to do your second layer of fertilizing also weeds come up around this part and for those of you who do not know about this or need a little bit more help i'm going to have some more videos linked down below that will help you out in this subject we are in the next day. The corn is ready to be harvested. This is the way it looks when it's ready. Also, don't forget to check your map to make sure that it's ready to harvest. I'm gonna go to the shop and we're gonna pick our harvester. We are now at the shop. We need to pick a harvester. So you go under harvester and any of these will work. Make sure you get one that's kind of appropriate for your field size. I'm gonna pick this John Deere one, the T560. and to pay attention make sure you pay attention to the model number for those of you who are a little bit confused on how to pick headers you can mix and match even though it will look a little funky but if you want something more cookie cutter then pay attention to the model number so i'm gonna get this t560 we're gonna go ahead and lease him and the header that we're gonna need is under corn headers right and remember the t560 this one goes with that harvester but you can mix and match you can also see down here that it does corn and sunflowers. So we're gonna go ahead and lease this one. I'm gonna jump inside. And for this header, I am just gonna pick it up and take it to the field. And attach. Okay, I'm gonna take this to the field and get ready for the next step. We are back at the shop again. We are going to need a way to transport the corn once we're done. So if you go into trailers and you look at the tippers and make sure you pay attention to the bottom and find the corn icon. There are some of these that do not do corn. So let me see if I can show you an example like this one does not do corn. Do not get this one if you're doing corn. All the other ones do. Make sure you get one that's appropriate for your size of field. I am going to get this HKD 302. Go ahead and lease this one. I'm going to use the tractor that we had earlier and I'm going to use the tractor to pull the tipper and you just back up to it and attach it just like everything else in this game. Now I'm going to meet you at the field. We are at the field with the harvester and the harvester is already lined up. So what I like to do is just drive up to the very edge and hire a worker. The tractor is gonna unfold and get ready to go. Then it's gonna drive straight. And now you can see that it has corn in its internal storage. So what's gonna happen is the harvester is gonna go and harvest in straight lines until the internal storage is full. And after the internal storage is full, it's going to start to beep and the little swivel you see on the left hand side is gonna stick out and then we can unload the harvester. So I'm gonna fast forward to show you this point and yeah, I'll meet you there. We are at 97% right now and this is almost ready to go. So what's gonna happen like I told you is the tractor's gonna go straight until the tractor's full. Then it's gonna start beeping like so. 
Oh, this one doesn't beep. But it's ready to go. The swivel is going to come out. And now what you need to do is unload it. So you go to your tractor. Remember, if you have crop destruction on, you're going to want to move the harvester. You're not going to want to do it the way I'm doing it. You're going to move the harvester out of the way. So you take your tipper, you go to the tractor, you go underneath the swivel, and you wait for it to be filled up. All right, so we have grabbed the corn. The harvester is still going. At this point, I'm going to assume that your tipper's full and you're trying to sell it. So the way you do that is you go into your map. You want to go into your pricing. You want to look for corn. Make sure you click it. And you're going to want the highest price. Go ahead and tag that. I am going to look at the map real quick to see where it is. There it is, the green mill. I'll meet you right over there. I am at the sell point, and as you can see, the little highlighted area is where you want to sell the corn. So all you do is drive your tipper over the sell point. It's gonna prompt you to press your button. You see at the bottom right, we're dumping corn into the sell point. And there you go, we just sold our corn. And that is how you harvest corn. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my contact and you want to subscribe, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget, there's resources down below for everybody who wants to do any fertilizing or maybe they're just interested in a basic farm or plowing. I'm going to leave that down below. And if you have any questions, please just leave a comment. I'll answer them as they come. Everybody have a nice day.